three minutes. <laughs> hey everybody, John the Other here, obviously. Emma Sulkowitz, also known as uh, Mattress Girl. She's the Columbia University student who carried a mattress around for an entire semester. And I, I, I don't know for sure, but I have read that she got course credits for doing this. <laughs> now, the obvious reveal is that if somebody claims to be the victim of a, a crime and they report it not to a law enforcement agency or through the courts, but they report it to the administrative employees of the business that they're a customer of, like the university, then there wasn't a crime. You know, if this was supposedly an anal rape of this mattress carrying student by some other student whose name is also in the media and I'm not going to talk about that because uh, I don't believe in smearing people's names who are innocent. Um, well then, you know, there's, there, there wasn't a rape. There wasn't an incident. It's made up. And that's really, like, this is the common sense, real obvious go-to, is that if you didn't report it to the police, then it wasn't a crime. If it was a crime, you would have gone to the cops after all that media attention. And this Emma Sulkowitz has been lionized, and she's been uh, promoted by the senator of a, of a s senator, Kristen Gil Gilbrand. She's been... Uh, given keynote speeches, she's been interviewed, she's been given money, and I mean, like, the the rewards of political victimhood uh, are never more obvious than in the Emma, Emma Sulkowitz mattress girl case. But the real interesting reveal here is that all the public adulation and the lionization and the promotion of this girl by mainstream as a victim is buying into the idea that justice should not come from the courts but from the mob. That vigilante justice is the preferred form of so-called justice. I mean, setting aside the fact that there was no rape in the first place. Even if there was a rape, which there wasn't, justice should come from somewhere other than the courts. It should come from the court of public opinion. It should come from the mob. It should come from the administration of a university rather than the police and courts. And it isn't just a, a small handful of squirrel-brained feminists who think this, that we see the whole mainstream, or at least not the whole, but a major section of the mainstream buying into the idea that Mattress Girl's antics, which amount to a a entire semester of harassment of another student and we can't recognize that we see it right in front of our faces and we are not recognizing that the mattress carrying antics is a ongoing campaign of harassment of another student and she gets course credit for it but ultimately what this means is that Justice should not come from the courts, should not come through the police. Justice comes from the mob. That's the idea being promoted by the entire spectacle of Emma Sulkowitz and her mattress-carrying theatrics. That justice is not for the courts to deliver. It is for the street seek redress as vigilantes, not through the police and courts. Fuck the law. Clubs, pitchforks, torches, a lynching. That's the idea that is being promoted by the lionization of Mattress Girl. Now, for many years I've been talking about the abrogation of due process by feminists, their rhetoric, you know, denouncing due process, denouncing inquiry into the facts as, I don't know, patriarchal or privileged or somehow wrong-headed constructs. And that when we get to a society where... Uh, where due process is, you know, an antiquated, obsolete, no longer practical idea, we will still have a need for justice between people. When there is a grievance, we need some way to redress that grievance as a culture, as society. And that people are adaptive. And that when the courts don't function, because we've, we've fucked up all the rules, as we seem to be right on the path to doing, we will still have to find justice through some other social or legal or uh, procedural mechanism. And I predicted that it would come through uh, retributive violence. 
vigilante justice. We're not yet at the point where the, the student who she harassed for an entire semester gets lynched, actually lynched on the end of a rope, but we're getting closer. Why do you have respect for the law? Why do you think the law, the courts, is the way to address grievance? It's clearly not. Emma Sulkowitz is the example. She, I mean, not just her, but the the elevation of Emma Sulkowitz and her harassment campaign and her mob justice mentality. The endorsement by senators, by major elements of the media, is the endorsement of vigilante mob justice. So, so you know, if, if you have somebody in your life who creates a grievance, you know, who, who insults you or bashes into your car or steals from you or, you know, slaps you up the face or, you know, physically assaults you or, you know, whatever, steals your bike, don't seek redress of your grievance through the courts. No, that's the old way. The new way is in the street, defaming them, harassing them in the place of their education or perhaps employment. That's the way to do it. In fact, get other people to physically assault them. I mean, that's what we're all going for now, isn't it? Or am I getting this wrong somehow?